to get to reassemble on this thing. Um, the only thing that still needs to be dried up right now is the hose. But, like, this part still has a bit of water, a bit of moisture around it. But it's pretty much dry. So let's get started. So, been been washed out. Everything's been completely washed out. Just ready to go back in the vacuum. So... Um, I think I'm just missing one more thing here. Um, and there it is. Nope, that's the one. Hold on. These are the original wheels, which they're going to be on the track. They're not, they're not worth using. But... Completely cleaned up the drawer floor. Sounds a bit kind of. Sounds a bit around the window. But we'll get it. We'll get it going here. I am attempting to sell this vacuum. I probably don't need another 2191 in the collection. I just don't really. There you go. No tears in the hose either, so. It's pretty much ready to go for use. So. So there are going to be two little screws with this, which are these right here. Make sure when you want to do this. There's some struggle going on here already. There we go. Went in. You gotta watch out though, because like if that piece does not like click in, then the whole thing's not gonna really go in well. So. Cause if that piece doesn't go in, then it's there's a good chance that the whole thing is not gonna be going in. Cause like if that whole piece, like I said, does not go in though, there's a very good chance that whole thing is just not going to go in well. So, so it still needs a bit of a wipe down though, but you know it, it looks better, like better, better. So here's a little filter here for the suction release valve. Um, And 
I'm going to take this thing here, put on each side of this. If you hear it makes that kind of clicking noise, that means that it's in all the way and you know it won't strip the, the, the screw or thread out. It's actually a cheap little drill that I got in here from Walmart. It's a nice one. It's about 15 bucks at Walmart. I don't know if Walmart has a whole thing of, I had a whole thing of clothes, so I went there one day and seen it, so I went to grab it. So, we're going to put a new belt in this because the belt that was the original belt when I got this thing. Which I'm not really surprised about though because I thought the belt was broken when it turned out there wasn't a broken belt. So, but there was a face mask in this thing when I got this. I think I would get face mask. Which I thought was actually very strange to be honest. So the belt is in, that will be going into this. I'll to, I'm gonna put this bottom plate back on it real quick. But there is a Bissell style of two belt, which it says it works for like the power grooms and everything. So, of course, for the packaging at least. Um, but I will say though, one thing that is nice about these vacuums is that. They're very easy to maintain. So I am going to um, put the dust cap back in it though. Just so no the dirt does go fly up into here and gets blown over. So let's see, I'll try it out real quick. I can't see the brush will sound again. Sounds pretty good. Seems to work pretty well. Sweet. Okay. Um. So that works perfectly. Okay. That's good. That is good. Alright, so now we can put this thing back together, get some of that stuff on it, put onto it and whatnot.
Sorry the angle is not the greatest in the world. But whatever works for me, I guess. I really like this screwdriver a lot. It's actually pretty cheap. It's definitely not as powerful as like the usual like the Walt Makita Makita drill battery kind of things, but hey, this thing does work though. <laughs> Um, for some reason there is this screw right here which I'm assuming is oh yeah it does have some screws laying around though so it could be it so yeah all the screws are in there so, this is amazing to me what people would do to these vacuums. It really does, because, like, I'm really not that surprised, though, that someone would just trash this one like this, but, yeah. <laughs> down the brush or but yeah well we got a belt though on it here's the part number for the belt if you guys are wondering what that is might be backwards but yeah but um yeah we got a completely working power for Celix 2191 Just, uh, I still have, I actually have a few hoses laying around here. Um, I got an older bit of hose that I can put onto it for now. Um, yeah, this thing is ready to go for sale though. So let's see what we get out of it. <laughs> is actually kind of loose up here, I just not realized. <laughs> it's ready up for use though. So yeah, that actually works pretty well now. It smells a lot better too. I will give it that. It does smell a lot better. So when I got this thing, I'm telling you guys, when I got this thing and this thing smelled pretty terrible. So but yeah, it's ready to go for use now. Um, I just need to get the hose still needs to be dried up. But other than that, this 2191, which is like a $50 vacuum from Walmart, is ready to go for use. Um, so the only thing I'm going to do now is have this hose. The hose is still need to be dried up here. This is the hose that it came with. It's still need to be dried up, but I'll get this thing a wipe down and give it a nice polishing. And uh, yeah, this one will be going for sale along with the other 2191. Because this thing literally has nothing wrong with it now. Um, absolutely nothing wrong with it. This thing just probably hasn't been used very much. Someone who had it had probably had, had a, like a cat or a dog or something like that. Um, but yeah, this was a successful find though. And this thing is absolutely ready to go now.
So, clean up the brush a little. The dusting brush has been pretty much cleaned. Dent's been cleaned up. Everything's been ready. Pretty much cleaned up. Yeah, this thing's per pretty much perfect. <laughs> does not sound like grace and whatnot though. <laughs> There's a little snow in this hose too now since I've done that, but I do have another hose from my Nook 2191 that had died. Um, and there's the hose right now actually. Okay. So, yeah, it's a bit dusty. I'll have to give it a wipe down, but. Yeah, it's really good for you snow. There's really not much wrong with it now. I just have to get that one hose back onto it though after it's dried up. But um, this is the hose I'll be going onto it for now though. <laughs> It works though. It works well. Um, I don't know if I'm any visible motor issues with it at all. But yeah, we got a completely working power push. Run it right now. It sounds really good actually. Um, I do actually have a 2191 brush on one of my other Bissell power push, like my power push bags. So if I wanted to, I could probably do that. I could probably just swap the brush holes out and stuff. But, yeah. So this will be going out for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Along with the other 2191. So, these are just, like this. Like I said, these are both great back. I mean, these are great back and all, but I don't really have a use for a Bissell like this, really. But, so... But yeah, that is the Powerful Helix 2191. It's all ready to go for use, all cleaned up, um, pretty much smells a lot, lot better. Um, I will give that this smell quite, quite good now. Um, I just don't get it with people nowadays with vacuums, I really don't. But if you don't, you know, if they don't throw a vacuum, like this, then you never know what you're gonna find, really. So all I'm gonna do here is just get some water, like this, and I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna poke a hole in the top of the cap here and stuff. And all I'm just gonna do is just get it. Oh god, that is wet. I'm just gonna. I really don't have anything else right now on me. Like I have some clear, kind of, kind of clear stuff, but I don't know where it went. So I'm just gonna use this rag to use this thing here with some water. So because so eventually I would like to try the new Dirt Devil, like the Dirt Devil Rewind and stuff from Walmart, but if I did get the Power Max Rewind one day. And compare it to that. That's what I might do, actually. But yeah. Yeah, this thing. It's 
I'll tell you what, though, this thing smelled pretty bad when I got it, though. But it smells a lot, lot better now. So, yeah. Yeah, this thing, it, it was definitely pretty gross, but, yeah. So, I got a working vacuum. Uh, it's amazing what people, like I said, would throw away or something for $50. I mean, I think about selling this and the other one for, like, 30 bucks each. And for both of them, maybe, like, 50 So. So, yeah. But. This twenty one ninety one though is ready to go. So until then guys, stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.